You are now ready to learn your next spelling rule. This spelling rule I usually teach to students outright, and then I come back uh, and apply it right away to multi-letter phonograms. The rule is English words do not end in I, U, V, or J. Let's say that together. English words do not end in I, U, V, or J. Let's take a look at a few multi-letter phonograms together and put this to work. So this says A, A, and this is A. Now, what do you notice is the same between them? Yes, they both start with an A. And what is different? One ends in an I and one ends with a Y. Which one may I use at the end of the word? That's right, I can use this one. Why can I not use this one? Because English words do not end in I. This says oi, and this says oi. Uh, what is the same between these phonograms? They both say oi. Uh, which one may I use at the end of the word? Oh, why? Why can I not use this one? Because English words do not end in I. So if I hear the word boy, how will I spell oi? That's right, like this. How about if I hear the word toy? That's right, it will be spelled like this. You are now ready for a phonogram quiz. And you can find a place to write the phonograms on page 91 of your teacher's training manual. I will read a phonogram to you, and then I want you to write it down in the blanks. Then when we're finished, uh, I will read them again, and we will flash the phonograms on the screen so you can see how you're doing. The first one is oi, a way that you may use at the end of English words. The second one is h, h. Number three, e, eh, a. Four, n. Five, sh. Six, oi that you may not use at the end of English words. Seven, a, a, a. Eight, a, two letter a that you may use at the end of English words. Nine, i, i, e, ya. 10, a, o, u. 11, or. 12, e, e. 13, k, two letter k used only after a single short vowel. 14, ng. 15, k, s. 16, f, v. 17, A, two-letter A that you may not use at the end of English words. 18, K, tall K. 19, er, the er of her. 20, E, double E, always says E. Some of you may be wondering how to memorize those spelling aids. They can be found in the appendix of your teacher's training manual in a um, chart there. Let's apply what we've been learning. Are these phonograms consonants or vowels? Here I have A. You're right, this is two letter A and it is a vowel. How about this one, E? It's a vowel because we can sing it, E. How about this, V? Those are both consonant sounds. They're blocked by the tongue and the teeth. We can't make them louder. How about the three sounds of this phonogram, E, 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 Vowel, a ha ha vowel, a ha ha vowel. How about sh? It's a consonant. We can't sing it. It's blocked by our tongue. How about oi? Oi, 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 oi. You might be surprised, but it's actually a vowel. We can sing it. And in a word like boil, this is the vowel. As we've learned these multi-letter phonograms, it leads us to part two of the problem of English, which is how to deal with multiple spellings of one sound. So in the next section, we will be talking about that.